Good morning, today is Saturday, April 8th, 2017. I'm here at Lake Cumberland in Kentucky, and I thought today would be a great day to go out and do some adventuring, do some hiking, you know, just bring along the camera and see what all we can see today. Hey guys, so I am here at 76 Falls, and the falls is just right below me here. During the summertime, if you ever come to Lake Cumberland, you, you'll see this area right here. There will be thousands of boats. I mean, you will be hearing loud music. So yeah, it's 76 Falls. It is in, um, I believe we're in Clinton County, Kentucky. So if you want to come out and uh, if you've got a boat or anything, you will. this is one spot that you do not want to miss. <laughs> I'm holding on for you to come around I've waited for so long I've run aground I feel I'm burning up inside Oh hear me quiet I feel like everyone's alive So I am at the uh, state dock, believe it or not, when I was 16 years old, this was my first job. I was a little dock hand and I would basically just help all the boaters. When they would pull up, I would pump gas or I would help them with their groceries or help them with just basically anything. So what they do offer here is you can rent jet skis, you can rent these, uh, these uh, water boards, you can rent these, you can rent canoes here. So if you're looking for a great place to come and get outdoors and enjoy the lake, I suggest you come to the state dock here because you're going to find pretty much just everything to do, you know, from canoeing to watering to waterboarding to um, renting a boat, to a houseboat. And I'll take you guys on a little bit of a tour on a, on a houseboat as well. And you can rent jet skis. So if you're coming down for the summer, you're definitely going to want to put this on your list to come down here. So let's go check these uh, these houseboats out. So here we are inside the uh, houseboat rental. And you can see they can have, you have a nice TV set up here. You have your, uh, your lunch area. You have your own dining room kitchen. And then you actually have the, uh, the living room sitting here. So you can rent this for like the weekend or the week. And uh, let's go back through here and I'll show you what else. There's multiple bedrooms. And uh, there's actually a slide, believe it or not. You come out back here, and there's a water slide that you can slide all the way down here and into the water. So, I mean, it's just really cool um, to come and rent one of these. So I would highly suggest, here's like one of the beds. It's not awfully big, it's not too small, but you kind of get the idea. It's very nice. So let's go out and take a look at the top deck and see what it looks like. I mean, if you want to set up your own barbecue here, you know, you've got your own um, grill. You can pretty much, you can probably put about 15 people on one of these, you know, to enjoy yourself. You don't want to get it too overcrowded, but I mean, it's just incredible to rent one of these for the week or the weekend and just get out and hang out with friends and chill. So, uh, I don't know. I'm enjoying this day. What about you guys? Hey guys, so we just made it here to the uh, Kentucky Natural Bridge Arch in Creesboro. So here, let's check this out. 
I mean, this is this is heaven. It can't get any better than this right here. So from one end to the other, it marks 106 feet from one end of the arch to the other. Pretty incredible if you ask me. I just hiked up around this bridge here, and today has turned out really good. It's about, it ended up being close to 70 degrees today. They weren't really giving that much in the forecast. Here is this arch, naturally made. I mean, just, I mean, just breathtaking that God can make such a creation of this. I mean, just look at this. Look at this place. I've lived here for a long time, growing up as a kid, and I never even knew this existed. So they actually have a uh, they have a trail that goes up to the top, and you can see down over the Cumberland. And uh, what is really cool is there's some history here. Um, back in 1943, um, there's initials on here. Let me find it. As you can see up in the top here, I don't know if you can see it in there or not, but in 1943 there were some journeymen named HCB. It must have been the initials of three different brothers that actually explored this area really early. When the lake had rised, um, they were able to carve their initials up into the very top of the arch, which is it's pretty cool if you ask me. So there is so much history that we've learned. I hope you guys are enjoying this video. If you are, Hit me with the big thumbs up, smash that thing really hard, and uh, leave a comment below on what your favorite part of this vlog is. And uh, I appreciate you guys watching. Remember, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys back here next week. Remember, smile more, worry less, and live your passion.